prepare yourself for the man known only as God. Yeah, this is God. I'm coming to you from back here in Chicago. All my life, all my dad ever did was talk to me about John Diligent. And I knew I wanted to be a gangster. And that's what I am and that's what I always have been. But coming through the game and the pimp game, I seen the boys pimping on the girls. So I decided maybe I better try a little of that. And I knew one thing about the game. If I seen a girl I like, I knew she wasn't for me. I had to find one that liked me. And that's what I did. And anytime you find a woman that like you, it's just like she on drugs. She got to have some. And if she got to have some and you don't give her none, you can get all her money. And that's the way I played it. And I still play it that way. Some 40 years later, the name is God. G-O-D. Now, as far as pimping is concerned, I never pimped. The girls just gave me their money because I had it coming. The pussy is a pocketbook. You can withdraw or you can deposit. Now, you just figure out which one you want to do because I've always withdrawn because I know I came out of a pussy, so how am I going to be weak for one? And that's what the girls use on the boys because when a girl is seven years old, first thing her mama do is teach her how to pimp on a man. She tell her, say, listen, what I want you to do is find you a man with a good job. Find you a man with a career. Find you a man to rob, steal, and kill for you. Now, if that ain't teaching pimping, I don't know what pimping's all about. So what do a mama tell her son? She tell her son, say, I want you to grow up, get you a good job, get you a family, and bring your money home to your wife. But that's misleading. If I go get the money, why the fuck can't I keep it? Now, to some pimping. Pimping ain't what y'all think it is. Pimping is nothing but panhandling. And if you can beg, you can pimp. If you can't beg, you can forget about pimping. Because pimping ain't no place for lanes. Because if you love that woman pussy, you ain't gonna get her money. For a simple reason, she know you hooked. The best thing to do is to hook her. And the only way you can hook a female is to stay out of her pussy. Because if you go in there, you're going in her weak spot. And if you go in her weak spot, it's really her strong spot. So what you got to do is take your finger and make her calm and keep your dick in your pants. She is satisfied if you make her calm. For a simple reason, 99% of the men that fucked a woman never make her calm. The game they play is beat her to the nut. See, you beat them calm, she go in the washroom, jerk herself off. So she don't need you. If you gonna do what the trick do, calm in her. Don't calm in her unless you wanna pay child support. If you don't wanna pay child support, withdraw from her womb because it's a money maker. Just like Fort Knox, you got to know the combination. And the combination is one thing. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give yeah. I'm going to tell y'all something. I want y'all to pay close attention. The black lady has got the black man outnumbered 17 to 1. The reason why it's like that is because all the black men that not going to penitentiary is going to the graveyard. And all them is not in the graveyard, is in the hospital. So... If it's 17 to 1, I got 16 more women looking for me. Now, I am one of the most proudest people in America for slavery. The reason why I say that? Because if it wasn't for slavery, I wouldn't be in America. 
I'd be in Africa, riding a motherfucking boat constrictor, instead of in America, riding a Cadillac. 